Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to repot my Monstera Burl Marks Flame. This was a secret plat that I had for six months. And if y'all missed it, I put out a video where I watched this plant grow from just these two little baby leaves here. And yeah, you could check it out here. It was like really exciting for me and I know it was a lot, but I mentioned she's starting to mature. You can see that these aerial roots are just going off. You can see that she's trying to crawl out and she has a new one coming right in the center. Future Kevin Zoom in. Look at that juicy, juicy root. So knowing Monsteras and knowing how big and robust the root system is, I'm going to put her in a really big net pot and I'm gonna keep and I'm gonna keep it in Lekka so this is the net pot size comparison six inch 10 inch I think I'm not sure into a three gallon bucket here and yeah I'm a little scared guys because there's a chance I'm gonna have to cut these roots because look because look at this root it's going through one of these spaces so I'm gonna try my best to preserve it and to do that I need to cut the net pot okay so we'll just see how this goes um let's take this ziploc off if y'all were wondering I put this ziploc because you can see she quickly grew so I just wanted to cover the adventitious roots coming out Ooh. And I was just adding some Lekka into the ziploc obviously she's outgrown it she's outgrown the pot Oh my god. So you can see how robust the root system is. Look at all those root branches and they look really, really healthy. So this is good because obviously if I have to break this root, oh my God, the Lekka is dropping. If I have to break that root down here, at least there's more roots just all over the pot. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this guys. I'm just, cutting through the bottom. How did we do? How did we do? Okay, so I cut a hole. Um, the root was coming out of here. I'm pretty sure that's enough space, but I just wanna make sure there's no sharp edges that will cut the root. Oh, it's coming out easily, guys. Okay, let's be careful. Okay, 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 we're doing it. Oh my God, yay. Oh my gosh, look at these roots. Okay, guys, look. Oh my God, the Lekka's just dropping. Look at these roots. I don't know what to do about this wick here. You know, there's a chance that a lot of these roots are already in this. I might just keep it, to be honest. <laughs> do you know what I forgot? Okay, we're gonna have to put this off to the side just for a little bit. So I'm just putting it in the old net pot here. I'm just gonna lean it against the wall. I need to attach a moss pole. So I got these sheets moss poles from North Shore Tropicals and they basically come to you in these sheets and then you just fold at the creases here. So I'm just folding at the appropriate creases just like that. Same thing with this side. Okay, so once it's folded on both sides, you basically take these tabs. I always like putting them at the point that will give you the smallest, like width-wise moss pole. So just kind of hold this down. Once you have a semicircle here, you just put it in like so. Okay, push it in. That is perfect. Here we are, guys. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in like this. I'm gonna put some Lekka in here to secure it, but like the other ones, I'm gonna use a wire. Oh, the Lekka's rolling. So I'm using these wires. They come in two different sizes. They're from Crystal Star Nursery. Okay, so I think I'm gonna zip tie it in a few places here. Some people might think this is a little overkill, but I just want it to like stay in place. There's a chance that, you know, I might knock the pole and then it'll come out of the Lekka. So I'll just show you here. I just threaded it out this way and then just zip tied it to the pot and the same with this side. Then to secure it, we're just gonna put another one um, just at the top here. So once the pole is in, you're just putting another zip tie through the back part. Okay. So just two at the top here. Ooh. So I'm taking, oh my God, let's admire the roots again, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm going to try to submerge this into the Lekka. You should always do this with your plants, specifically Monsteras, any kind of Monstera. Every time they put out a long aerial root, you should channel it into the medium, whether it's Lekka, Pond, an aeroid mix. I'm pushing that root system to the very end of the pot on this side, just because when you turn it on its side, ooh, future Kevin zoom in, you can see that this root is going to be submerged once I add the Lekka and then the existing 
existing root system on this side will be partially submerged as well. This one up here will start to grow, but because there is gonna be a moss pole here, it'll probably just go into the moss pole. And so I have my washed LECA here, and we're just gonna add the LECA on top. Okay, and now we're at the point where the LECA is at the base of the moss pole. So I'm just gonna try my best to put some LECA through the moss pole. Again, just to secure it a little bit. Okay, we're just continuing. Um, you know what guys, we're gonna experiment. I know I've seen before people put wicks in the pool and then they put LECA, but I'm just gonna put LECA. And people have suggested this to me in the past. I've definitely thought about it and I guess we're doing it right now, guys. <laughs> okay, um, so here we are. I'm just gonna put the LECA in the moss pole just to that point. You can see that that root is partially covered. This one over here, just because it is close to the LECA, it could probably just grow into the LECA. Okay, I'm just washing down the leaves just cause they're a bit dusty. <laughs> Assessing the moss pole, it is secure. Again, I put the wire and the LECA. Might be overkill, but I just like to be extra safe because the plan is to grab another one of these, add it on, and obviously the taller the moss pole gets, the more support it needs. So I'm just planning that for the future. But yeah, here we are, guys. I'm so excited. Again, this leaf is just everything, guys. I usually have like reserve nutrient solution that I kind of save from my previous nutrient changes. I do not, and especially because it's a lot, it's probably gonna have to be a gallon and a half that I put into this, I'm breaking things, three gallon bucket. I'm just gonna make five gallons of my nutrient solution. Okay guys, I got five gallons of water here. And I just have all my nutrients on this cart here. And I'm just gonna speed this up because I've honestly shown this so many times recently. Starting off with CalMag, some Flora Micro, Flora Grow, Flora Bloom, Diamond Nectar, Rapid Start, and lastly, some Hydro Guard. I'm gonna have the nutrient solution just up to here. You can see that the bundle of roots are down here. I don't wanna completely submerge them, so I'm just gonna hit the net pot here just so the LECA can touch it. Once it grows a big root system into the reservoir, I'm going to put a little bit less. Oh my god, this is heavy. This was a mistake, but we've committed to this. It's gonna fall, guys. Okay, that's perfect, actually. <laughs> and just for now, guys, I'm using press and seal just to cover this root over here, future Kevin Zoom in. So I just want it to be humid around it so it doesn't dry up. Usually these Monsteras, they don't, but I just wanna be safe and, you know, be cautious. So I'm just covering it just like that guys. And I'm just reading through the comments um, from my Monstera Burl Mark Flame Reveal. A lot of people are wondering what else I'm hiding from them. Um, I only have, I think, one or two other ones that I'm hiding for you guys, but y'all won't probably see that until like six from six months from now. <laughs> Jenny says she got a note in a mystery box. Oh my gosh, that is an amazing mystery box. She was worried if it was difficult. Honestly, it's the same as a Monstera Deliciosa. They're very hardy, very easy. They root the same way. Oh my God, Dustin said that he got his with six leaves and he couldn't help himself and propagated it. I almost propagated this today, but I was like, Kevin, control yourself. You want to see this mature. You want to see those fenestrations. So I feel you, Dustin. I really do. And I'm so excited for your babies. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to try to make space on my wire shelf. I've said this before. Every time I transfer a plant, even though she was in LECA, I know I ripped some roots off. And just so for rehab purposes, I need to give this a lot of light. The days are getting shorter. There's less sunlight coming through through my big windows and so a grow light would be the best for me are y'all excited to watch this grow but we'll see how it goes thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it to the very end thank you guys so much i greatly appreciate it and i'll see you guys later bye